Hello and welcome to Megawatt News. I'm Katie Scott. Hope you had a lovely weekend. But in the headlines today, new content for Call of Duty 4 will be available tomorrow. The hack attack, which platform came out trumps. Dell goes Blu-ray with its latest laptop. Ice cream mobiles, but are they cool? And last up, 900 quid to spare? Why not buy an iPhone? Four new maps are launching for Call of Duty 4 tomorrow for the Xbox 360 and we went to the launch in central London to find out what they're all about. So we've come down to a secret London location for the launch of four new maps for Call of Duty 4. Around us lots and lots of consoles, lots of people having a go. The crucial points, the maps will arrive in April, they'll arrive first for the Xbox 360 and then about two, three later for the PS3. Around 800 Xbox points, um, which equates to about $10. We don't have a UK price yet, but probably be about 10 quid. Make sure you check out our story on PocketLint now and also check out our interview on Megawatt. Security experts, or guys who hack for a living, gathered in the US of A late last week to scare the bejeebas out of the world's computer giants. The annual hacker fest that is the Cansey West Security Conference pitted three laptops against each other, running Vista Ultimate SP1, Leopard OXS 10.5.2 and Ubuntu 7.10 in order to discover which OS was the most vulnerable. And Leopard, running on a shiny new MacBook Air, fell after just two minutes. Apparently the Achilles heel was a flaw in Safari. But before you Vista users start feeling smug, it was a Fujitsu laptop running Vista Ultimate SP1 that succumbed next when the hacker got in using Adobe Flash. But it was the Ubuntu that proved unassailable. The laptop, which runs Linux, withstood three days of hack attacks and came through intact. <laughs> Dell has launched a Blu-ray laptop and it's just $879. The Inspiron 1525 has a 15.4 inch high definition wide aspect display with 720p resolution that won't show you the very best of the Blu-ray experience but there is an HDMI port for connectivity to high resolution displays and HD TVs. The Blu-ray disk drive will play as well as burn traditional DVDs and CDs, while a Blu-ray burner drive is also available, but at extra cost. Check out Dell's website now for details, but UK punters beware. The from price in the UK for the 1525 with Blu-ray disc playback is £729, which says to me that Dell is using a whole different dollar to pound conversion rate than the rest of us. The Koreans seem to like their wacky phone concepts, including the recently released offering with a skin-filled touchpad. The latest launch is far more palatable, the ice cream phone. No, it's not made of cream and no, it won't melt in the sun, fortunately. But the LG LH5000 does come in three flavours, vanilla, strawberry and pistachio. When the phone receives a call or message, the pastel tone coloured lights on the front panel shine and tooth-achingly cute emoticons, such as a heart or a smile, face are displayed. Other features include a 2.2 inch colour screen with QVGA resolution, email, video calling, electronic dictionary and two megapixel camera. Unfortunately though a chocolate flake doesn't come as standard. <laughs> If you've got a spare grand, why not splash out on the Nightfire? This is the latest iPhone incarnation from Gold Striker and is the flagship handset of the new luxury leather collection. The phone has 24 karat gold accents with a luxury red grain leather back, which is apparently the same cow skin as has been used in the past for bespoke interiors for Bentley, Aston Martin and Ferrari motors, so you can match your phone to your wheels. Pricing will be around the 900 mark and only 250 will be made. So start pawning your belongings now as it'll arrive at the end of April. Those were the biggest stories of the day. Join us again tomorrow for more news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. But in the meantime, check out our new feature episode on Megawatt in which our very own Stuart Miles got to grips with a Nintendo Wii Fit. Thanks for watching.